Now, Lionel Messi has made his debut for Paris Saint-Germain this evening, his first match for the club uh, against Reims. It's been about three weeks since he was signed. Jean-Emile Jamin is here to tell us all about uh, what was a hotly anticipated uh, event. Tell us about that, uh, Jean-Emile, his, his first day talking out for Paris Saint-Germain. Yes, James, well, as you said, it was absolutely anticipated and not just from the uh, PSG fans, from the uh, home fans from Reims as well. A 21,000 capacity stadium fully sold out. Everyone anticipating this Argentine superstar making his debut for the club. Uh, really a blockbuster move from Barcelona. As it was, he was uh, men he was put as a substitute. Only came on in the 66th minute. Uh, but that was fine for Mauricio Pochettino's team because they have the young pretender in Kylian Mbappe um, just banging in the goals. And his form is so hot right now. He opened the scoring with uh, a beautifully taken header from an Angel Di Maria cross. And uh, despite a VAR call going against uh, the home team, Reims, uh, they thought they'd equalised in the mm. second half. Uh, Mbappe then capitalised on new signing Ashraf Hakimi's uh, cross to make it 2-0. And so at the two-goal stage, finally Pochettino thought, OK, now's the time to throw on Ilian And they didn't want to have him starting the match for his debut game? Why, why do you think that is? Well, basically, he's still integrating into the team. He's uh, he's not, I mean, possibly thought as fresh uh, right. just yet. Uh, you know, this was his first time playing since his Copa America final uh, success with Argentina. Uh, in saying that, as it so is, it, it might have been a, plug, a crowd pleaser, but they were like, actually, for the, for the performance of the team, exactly, it's not the right moment, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so uh, you know, we want to, I think... Uh, um, Pochettino wanted to see that the game was already secure, at least defensively, because uh, while Messi might be going forward and might uh, deliver some beautiful football up top, uh, I guess the formation and what, what is left behind in the spaces for the defence, uh, it's still unsure. Uh, you know, they still need to see uh, with the team and uh, and to see how they play behind. And what, what of reports that, uh, that Kylian Mbappe might leave? Was, is, there, was there anything... Is there anything and that we can say about that this evening uh, well, for this match? I think you had to look at his reactions after scoring the goals. What we did see was a player, the way he was smiling, the way he was energised after scoring the, those goals, it didn't really look like a player who's on the verge of making that big move to mm. Real Madrid. There are reports that uh, meetings went well between the clubs. However, the Emir of uh, Qatar, who is very much at the forefront of the negotiations, uh, has firmly said Mbappe is not for sale at this stage. Mm. What that might mean is that Real can come in January with a pre-contract agreement. Uh, however, under Fiorentino Perez, they are still very much trying to secure that deal. It could rise up to over 180 million euros, possibly even surpassing the Neymar transfer. As it was, we were worried that this might be the only occasion where we might see the trident of Messi, Neymar, Mbappe up top. But then Messi happened to be substituted on for Neymar, so we didn't get to see that. Hopefully, mm. after this international break, we might see it in saying that there is a chance that because of the travel restrictions for Argentina and other South American countries, Messi might only make his home debut against Lyon in October. So we might still have to wait a while longer. All right, well, he'll have plenty of time to get his game uh, up to top, top uh, performance. Thanks for that, Jean-Emile And that brings us to the end of this bulletin.